Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel to see what kind of content I have for you all today. So those of you who followed me for a little while now um, might have noticed that I have mentioned quite a bit throughout my hauls that um, I have a grandbaby who's coming up on a year old now on June the 16th. She's having a birthday party and I have been gathering supplies and collecting things for her uh, birthday event to, um, you know, make stuff to put together her party. So, you know, you'll hear me say this is for an upcoming DIY. This is for Emerald's party. This is for this. This is for that. And a uh, few of you have mentioned that um, I should record some of the uh, DIYs and stuff that I put together for her birthday party. So I decided to put together a playlist and record some of the stuff that I'm going to be creating using mostly Dollar Tree products. Anyway, whatever I have that's not from the Dollar Tree, I'll be sure to let you know. So if you're interested interested in seeing some of the creations that I put together, then go right ahead and continue watching. So these are some of the supplies that I gathered together to um, create some of these um, little uh, doodads that I'm putting together for the birthday party. And so what I have here is just stuff that I had on hand in my craft supplies that I decided to um, repurpose. So um, here I have this little um, planter pot that I had from a little dollar um, cacti. And so I decided to hold on to it. I always hold on to these things because you never know what they can be useful for. So I held on to this little planter pot to see what I can come up with. So I'm going to be using that. And then this was a pack of floral foam from the Dollar Tree that came in multiple different sizes from the smallest to the largest. And I bought this during the Easter holiday, I want to say, because I used them to make these cute little um, uh, Easter bunny lollipops, which I have a tutorial on that and my playlist. And um, so I had these left over and also... Um, I just wanted to show this this did not come with this. I also had uh, quite a few of these leftover uh, Golf balls and this is from the toy section and Dollar Tree and I had this also from a leftover project so I had a few of these golf balls I had some of the styrofoam balls. I had the planter pot. I had some um, googly eyes that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, my trusty old fix-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree, um, also some acrylic paints in red and black, and these are not from the Dollar Tree. These I had them in my craft supply whew, for a long time now. Um, I want to say I picked them up at a nearby local craft store, but I couldn't even tell you how much I paid. I'm sure less than a dollar. And um, my little palette, these are one of the palettes from Dollar Tree. Some paint brushes, of course some jute twine, uh, jute cord, and this little Beacon Magnetac 809 glue. Um, this glue is just a liquid silicone. It works just like um, your hot glue, only thing you don't burn the crap out of your fingers, and I love it. Then, <clears throat> Another thing I had from my Dollar Tree that I picked up were these little um, pot huggers. They're called pot huggers, and their intended purpose is to put them on the outside of the terracotta pots, and they hang by these little hooks in the back. So what I'm going to show you what I did with one of them was that I removed the hooks, those little hangers in the back that I just showed you. These little black hangers, they come uh, latched on with these little tiny screws. There's four little screws. 
So I just unscrewed them and I took off the little latches so that I can make my little creation. So I'm going to show you now. So for starters with the plant potter or the plant pot, I changed it into this and uh, all I did was add a little acrylic paint and some black dots and some googly eyes and voila, I turned my little planter pot into a ladybug. Then um, the uh, styrofoam balls, I did the same thing. I painted them red and black and I added the uh, little googly eyes and then I also added some of this chenille stem the uh, pipe cleaner, I cut it up and I made the little antennas out of them just to add a little bling and pizzazz because my grandbaby loves anything sparkly. So I'm going to be using this in a, another DIY, probably on her um, cake topper, I'm going to be using it. And then with the uh, golf balls, I did the same thing. The golf balls is just a miniature version of the styrofoam balls. Um, I painted them, I added the polka dots, the googly eyes, and I also put the, um, I glued down the little Chanel stem to make the uh, antennas. And so those were um, the items I turned into ladybugs with that. Then this is what I created with the pot and the uh, plant hogger. This is going to be the top of a cupcake tower that I'm putting together for my granddaughter's cupcake station. Um, she's going to be having a candy station, a cupcake station, and I'm making um, a cupcake tower for her, which I'll be sure to um, include it um, in the end of the video too, so that you can see how it all comes together. So this is going to be the top of the cupcake tower. And all I did was I added the um, little planter pot onto one of these Dollar Tree candle holder pedestals that I painted red. And I tied a little bow on it. And I filled the little ladybug planter pot with some floral moss from the Dollar Tree. And I added some styrofoam adhesives onto the grass. I didn't stick them. I just gently laid them there. And then I stuck the uh, little plant hugger inside the moss. And I, when I took off the um, hooks from the... Uh, ladder that the ladybug was on it left like a little mark that I didn't want to see so in order to camouflage it I just wrapped a little jute cord around it some jute twine and I also added a few of those ladybug adhesives as well and I just think it just pulls everything all together and it's for a ladybug themed birthday party so be sure to continue watching throughout my playlist as I put together, um, you know, I'm slowly but surely putting things together a little bit here, a little bit there over time until the D-Day comes around so that I don't overwhelm myself. So each time that I put something together, I'm going to record it and add it to the playlist so that by the time the uh, event is over, I'll have an entire playlist of all the creations that I put together. So be sure to continue watching. And if I haven't already asked and you're not already subscribed, I like to invite you to kindly do so. It will help me out a lot. Also, if you like these kind of videos and you're interested in seeing more of these kind of video tutorials in the future please give this video a thumbs up um, I will gladly appreciate it and as always I will talk to you again in my next video bye now